here in the i button and in description box below you will get the complete playlist of z transform welcome to video number 7 and in this particular video we are going to solve third problem on the topic that is z transform and in video number 7 and video number 8 we will be solving problems on z transform using damping rule so both the videos are very 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 important so let us start with this find the z transform of first is e to the power a n second is n into e to the power a n let us solve one by one first is we need to find the z transform of e to the power a n now we can rewrite this as z transform of e to the power minus a minus n okay on opening the bracket we will get this as e to the power a n fine let us suppose this is k let e to the power minus a is equals to small k okay then we can say that is z transform of e to the power a n is equals to z transform of this is k so this is going to be k to the power minus n okay now we must know what is damping rule so by by damping rule we know that z transform of k to the power minus n into u n is equals to u of k z okay z transform of k to the power minus n into u n equals to u of k z okay now if you compare this with this you will get u n equals to 1 okay if you compare this with this you are going to get u n equals to 1 here u n is equals to 1 therefore this that is z transform of e to the power a n this equals to what you can say that is z transform of this that is k to the power minus n into 1 and this is how much and this is what this is u of k z fine now we know here we have u n equals to 1 since we know that z transform of 1 is equals to z upon z minus 1 which is equals to u of z but we need to find u of k z therefore you can say u of k z is equals to since u z equals to z upon z minus 1 so u of k z means in place of z we need to put k z so this is going to be k z upon k z minus 1 fine now we will be putting this here hence we can say hence we can say this that is z transform of e to the power a n is equals to z transform k power minus n into 1 which is equals to u of k z and u of k z is how much k z upon k z minus 1 so this is going to be k z upon k z minus 1 we have k that is e to the power minus a okay what is k that is e to the power minus k what is what is k that is e to the power minus a so we can put in place of k that is e to the power minus a into z upon e to the power minus a into z minus 1 since k equals to e to the power minus a okay now we will try to solve this this is z upon e to the power a upon z upon e to the power a minus 1 in the next step we can take denominator as e to the power a so this is going to be z minus 1 upon e to the power a and in the numerator part we have z upon e to the power a so we can write this as z upon z upon z minus e to the power a and e to the power e to the power a will get cancelled so we can say this is my final answer okay now in the same way we will be solving the 
second part of this problem that is n into e to the power a n. Now we will find the z transform of n into e to the power a n. Now we can rewrite this as z transform of e to the power we can rewrite this as minus a power minus n into this part that is n. Okay. Then we will consider this as k. Suppose let e to the power minus a is equals to k. So what this will be? Z transform of n into e to the power a n is equals to z transform of a to the power minus n into n. We know by damping rule that is by by damping rule we know that z transform of e to the power minus n into u n is equals to u of k z. If you compare this with this you are going to get u n equals to n. Okay. So we can say here u n is equals to n. Okay. So we can say therefore z transform of n into e to the power a n is equals to what? z transform of k to the power minus n into n. Okay. This is what? z transform of k to the power minus n into n and this is equals to u of kz. This is equals to u of kz. Since we have n here, so we can say since we know that z transform of n is equals to z upon z minus 1 whole square and this is equals to what u of z but we need u of kz since we have n here so we are finding z transform of n which is equals to z upon z minus 1 whole square which is equals to u of z but in place of u of z we need u of kz so we can say hence therefore u of k z is equals to in place of z we are going to write k into z okay in place of z we are going to put k z so here we have k z upon k z minus 1 whole square okay so we are going to put this here so we can say that is hence z transform of this part that is n into e to the power a n and this is equals to u of k z u of k z means k z upon k z minus 1 whole square k z upon k z minus 1 whole square now this equals to what is k k is yes here you can see e to the power minus a so in place of k we are going to write in place of k we are going to write e to the power minus a into z upon e to the power minus a into z minus 1 whole square. Why this? Because k equals to e to the power minus a. Okay. Now we will try to solve this. This can be written as z upon e to the power a upon this can be written as z upon e to the power a minus 1 whole square. Now we can rewrite this as z upon e to the power a upon this is if we take the denominator as e to the power this is going to be z minus e to the power a z minus e to the power a whole square upon e to the power a whole square. Here you can see e to the power a, e to the power a gets cancelled. What is left? e to the power a. So we can take this here. That is e to the power a into z upon z minus a z minus e to the power a e to the power a z minus e to the power a whole square. And this is my final answer. That is z transform of n into e to the power a n equals to e to the power a into z upon z minus e to the power a whole square and this is my final answer okay so this
question is very 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 important and in the next video also we are going to solve one more problem on z transform which is based on using damping rule okay thank you